It is time now for our Quad Cities Live Book Club. Each month we partner with the Davenport Public Library to review our most recent read and then we choose a new book. Brittany Peacock is joining me now. And uh, Brittany, this is actually uh, an extension of a segment that we started on the news at 11. Of yes. course we had to carry it over to QCL. Um, but because of all the wacky weather that we had in the month of January, uh, we actually have two books to review yes. this afternoon. Yes. So uh, the first one that we were supposed to read in December Yes. is uh, The Fire by Night and um, this is like a, a it's a war book it's it kind is. of a historical fiction it is it's a historical fiction it takes place um, World War II two war nurses I thought oh okay another World War yeah. II book it was more vivid. It was very vivid. That's a good <laughs> word for it. <laughs> it was a very graphic book. The, yes. the writing was very descriptive and I guess when you're writing about something like war it can get a little bit tough to read it can. sometimes, it can. but I will say, this this author, uh, Teresa Messinio, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. she did she's amazing. Like, she's she did amazing. her research. Yeah, this was I believe her debut book. Amazing. And yeah, it took uh, two different uh, points of view, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was it was great. It, it was took so it was good. like the Pacific Theater, and it was like Europe yes. for, for the other yep. side of it. Mm -hmm. It was these two nurses that happened to be best friends, and then they were just sent off to these two yeah. other parts of the world during yeah. the war and their stories and everything. It was incredible. It I, was, would rec I would yeah, recommend this. Absolutely. It was, yeah, very, very different stories, but all very, very yeah. well researched. I'd very absolutely good. recommend. I really enjoyed it. And uh, the other one that yes. we read was The uh, the Housemaid. Yes. By that was our McFadden. January book. Yeah. Um, Freedom McFadden. So what did you think of this book? I've Ooh. actually been reading other people's <laughs> reviews of it. I have to say, when the twist happened, or when I started to like realize what was happening, I was kind of blown away. Wild ride. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. I loved it. Wasn't expecting. So a little background on it because obviously a lot of people that are joining us now, um, at, you know, they have not read this book yes. Yes. at this point. They didn't know we were reading it. Um, <laughs> so it's a psychological thriller and essentially it is about a woman who is released from prison and you mm -hmm. kind of learn that early on. You don't really know what she was there for. Mm -hmm. She's looking for a job as a maid. She gets hired by a very wealthy family mm -hmm. and she doesn't really understand why this woman has hired her but she's very grateful. Well, the woman of the house kind of acts a little wacko mm -hmm. and does a lot of really bizarre things yes. and she puts the maid through so much, but then something happens later in the book and it'll blow you away. <sighs> I liked it. Yes. Five out of yeah. five. Yeah. And you know I love books like yes. this. Yes. I'm so glad we were able to sneak in a thriller for yeah. you. Because Every I time it's on the list, if we can do a thriller, I absolutely yes, love it. Absolutely. Okay. So that takes us now to February. And of course, Yay. we would love all of you that are watching to read along with mm -hmm. us. Now, we want to go through what those options yes, were. Yes. Absolutely. So for Wedding Month, The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. Um, Make a Friend Day, February 11th, so that's coming up, and that would be The Neighbor Favor by Christina Forrest. Galentine's Day, February 13th, as we all know, The Most Likely Club by Alyssa Friedland. And then there's, <laughs> I love this, I don't know where you came <laughs> up with this, but it is, it is a day. February 16th is Do a Grouch a Favor Day. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for that, uh, Mickey Chambers shakes it up by Cherish Reed. So, should we do our drum roll? Of course. All right, drum roll. The book that we have chosen for February is The Wedding, the wedding Date. Date. That is our February book. Um, we've got it right here. Yes. And, oh, I like your nails. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so talk a little bit about uh, what the plot is yes. of this book. So two strangers find themselves uh, trapped in, in an elevator in a hotel. The power goes out and they are stuck in this elevator, which is my nightmare. Right. By the way. But already sounds like a rom-com. Yes, already. <laughs> a strong start. So the two uh, start connecting, kind of understanding where they were coming from, why they are in this place at this time. Uh, turns out the gentleman was headed for a wedding yeah. and uh, needs a date. I love it. So they get off the elevator with the date and, and maybe more. shenanigans ensue. So yeah, yes. that's all I know about the book. That's all I've read about the book. I haven't started reading it. I'm excited. I feel like February, it's kind of the love month yeah. and uh, we could use a little bit of levity. So yes, I, I think it's going to be a fantastic one. So, um, so we hope that uh, everybody reads The Wedding Date with yes. us. And of course, the library has all kinds of awesome things mm -hmm. going on. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about that before yes. we run out of time. Absolutely. Uh, you've got something going on for Black History Month. Yes, Black History Month Reading Challenge. So that's going to be through our Beanstack app um, this year. So um, you can sign up um, online through the Beanstack app. 
Um, and just read. Read books by black authors with black voices. Um, we want to celebrate those those wonderful stories. Yeah. So um, prizes, there will be grand prizes. Yeah. So. Scan the QR code and, yeah. and just participate this Absolutely. month. Absolutely. Uh, the Palantines Party, <laughs> February 13th uh, on Galentine's Day. It's yes. from 4 to 5 p.m. at Fairmont. Uh, so this is just a friendship party. It's a friendship party. Uh, ages 6 to 10 are welcome Cute. to attend. And yeah. It's a, friendship. A, a great thing for, for the kiddos. Uh, yes. Make friendship bracelets and just have a good time. Uh, and then finally, uh, fantasy rice maps. You're going to have to explain that one to me. Uh, it's yes. at the end of the month, February 28th, from 6.30 to 7.30 at Fairmont as well. Yeah, so you are making your own fantasy map. So this is for those oh. world-building fantasy uh, lovers. It's kind of a fun program. We always like to have a diverse array of programs. So I love it. Yeah. I'm very excited about That'll it. That'll be a really good one. Um, so everyone invited to that. Yes. And uh, at the Fairmont branch. And of course we like to end our segments together talking about some children's books. <laughs> yes. And the focus uh, for the month of February is Kisses in Hugs way. and kisses. Hugs and kisses. Yes. So uh, talk about some of the books yes. that you brought. So uh, some of my favorites, we have The Hug Machine. The Hug Machine. I read this every single year. Uh, the Hug Machine hugs everything. There's nothing The Hug Machine will not hug, okay. including a porcupine. Including so, a porcupine. Kids lovely. love The Hug Machine. Yes. Uh, the one Bezos? On, yes, Bezos for Baby. This is a bilingual uh, story. Okay. Um, everybody wants to kiss the baby. Um, including the cat and yeah. the dog. So the one on the end here, you already <laughs> explained to me, this is very funny. So it's sealed with a kiss. There's mm -hmm. a seal on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, uh, he's got bad breath. Yes, yep, <laughs> new to the zoo. She eats a sardine and wants to go kiss all of the other zoo friends. And they don't love that. They find her a little repulsing. So oh, it I'm ends very happily. I, I bet that it does. It's, it's a happy it's ending lovely. for that. Uh, and you've got one more there. Yes, don't hug the quokka. Um, we all know that cute little animal. Yes. <laughs> um, so just because they're cute doesn't mean that they want hugs. So okay. this is a really lovely introduction to consent yeah. um, in a very lighthearted way. Uh, yeah, teaching kids about boundaries yes, in a sweet way. Yes, exactly. Brittany, thank you so much. Yes, we will see you next me. month. Uh, happy reading. We hope you'll read along yes. with us.